Greetings all. This is Commander P of the Interplanetary Math Forces. Math, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the math ship Enterprise. Captain K, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to explore new math concepts, to seek out new sums and new ways of organizing data, and to boldly go to new math planets. Captain K, hello. This is your mission. We need you to go to the planet Vogon in the Vogsphere solar system and discover more about adding a two-digit number to a multiple of 10. Do you think you can do that? Good, and then report back and tell us what you discover. Captain's log. Today, the interplanetary math forces have sent me to this planet to learn more about adding a multiple of ten to a two-digit number. We must be able to recognize that the one's digit in a number does not change when a multiple of 10 is added. We should also be able to move down on our number square to add multiples of 10. Right, let me explore. Space Cadets, I have returned from the surface of the planet with some important information. But first, we must review what we already know about multiples of 10. First, what is a multiple of 10? Very good. A multiple of 10 is any number that is 10 times larger then another number. What is the easiest way to spot if a number is a multiple of 10? Good. The easiest way to spot if a number is a multiple of 10 is if it ends with a zero. Now, look closely at this number. We have our Numicon shapes there. What number do these shapes represent? Correct. These shapes represent the number 43. We have four 10 shapes and one three shape. Now, look at this sum, 43 plus 10. What is the easiest way to work out the answer to this? Good, we add another 10 shape. So, there is another 10 shape. What is the answer to 43 plus 10? Correct, the answer to 43 plus 10 is 53. Now, what I learned on the planet was how to use a number square to help work out multiples of 10. Go and collect your number square, number square and report back here on the double.
much. All right, cadets, take a look at this sum. 37 plus 20. How can you use your number square to help you work out the answer? Very good. We start by marking the number 37 on our number squares. Then what? Well, to add 20, we could count 20 squares, but what I learned on the planet was that there is a shortcut to adding multiples of 10. To add multiples of 10, we move straight down the number square. One square for each 10. Now the number 20 has two 10s in it. So we need to move two squares down the number square. We start at 37 and we move two squares down. One, two. We've landed on the number 57. So, 37 plus 20 is 57. Now, what do you notice? about the number of ones in the first number of the sum and the number of ones in the answer. That's right, they are exactly the same. When we add multiples of 10 to a two digit number, the number of ones in the answer stays the same as the number of ones in the beginning of the sum. Keep that in mind as we do the next one. All right, cadets? Write down this sum. 54 plus 30. Do you remember what to do? That's right. We start by marking the number 54 on our number squares. Now, to add 30, we have that shortcut that we just learned. We don't count 30 ones, we go straight down the number square. One square for every multiple of 10. 30 has three multiples of 10 in it. So, move three squares straight down your number square. Have you done it? Excellent. So, moving three squares straight down your number square. One, two, three. You should have landed on the number 84. 54 plus 30 is 84. Well done. Let's try one more. 22 plus 60. Write it and work it out using your number square. Very good. Very good. You've remembered to start by marking the number 22. Yes, straight down your number square. How many spaces down? Remember, we're adding 60. So how many multiples of 10 are in 60? Good, six. So move six squares 
hands down. Very good, very good. Starting from 22 and moving six squares down. One, two, three, four, five, six. We land on 82. 22 plus 60 is 82. Well done. I will be sure to tell Commander P. She will be pleased at all we have discovered here today. Well done, Captain K. That was amazing. Thank you so much.